Yes, welcome everybody to the hottest damn show on the internet. It is Talking Mayhem Mania. I am your pal in the mainstream media. That's Eamon. Hi. The Russell fan. That's Sorgatron in Michigan. We sent him away. He can't come back. <laughs> He's gone forever. DP and Tina might be floating around here somewhere too. Who knows? I'm, we're floating somewhere around here. Hello. Playing the Mania, Mania home game with his pizza box lid. Real quick, let's go through the card as it stands right now, and then I will have an exciting couple of points of order. Um, here we go. Firstly, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Finn Balor, created by Brandon and Casey. Ilya Dragunov versus Kazuchika Okada, created by Tina. Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa, created by KC War. Rhea Ripley versus Oba Femi, created by Sorgatron. Jade Cargill versus Bianca Belair, created by Emily Fear. Thea Hale versus Nikki Cross, created by DP. Gunther versus Mako Sanamora, created by Eamon. And finally, everybody's favorite. Ava versus Pharaoh the Dog. Yes. Created by Team Hammerfist, as you saw, was communicated to us by a talking championship belt, which is perhaps the first in the history of this uh, fine program. Um, I'm going to have to check the archives on that one. Uh, point of order, Brandon in Kansas City was was hammering me in the chat screaming my match made in three weeks my match made in three weeks no 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 the rules are very clear the rules are very clear and voluminous and locked in a and kept in a lockbox underneath my basement steps the rule is your match must survive three rounds without being altered in any way you created it during the opening week. Last week was week one. It survived. This week was week two. It survived. Next week is week three. Okay. Point of <laughs> three. Yeah. Got it, DP? Got it, Eamon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Order restored. Order. Sorry, Brandon and Casey. I'm sure no one's going to mess with it. Don't worry about it. Um... What else was I going to mention? Oh, yeah, yeah, DP. Um, yeah. Sorry about your move. Um, you know, I, I got I got to answer the public. <laughs> I would get killed for it if I did. I, I couldn't let you do it. I'm sorry. No, what, what did you want to do? I wanted to know what your move was going to be. I wanted to make, uh, use Bianca and Jade and make them a tag team. That's what I was thinking. Ag against Thea and Nikki. Okay, okay, okay. So, so make it like the muscle mommies versus the over caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. That'd have been good. I, I, you know, Theo versus Nikki is probably just as good. Oh yeah, and it'll be a short match because they are, they're tightly wound. Oh yes, we'll very off. much so. And, and I don't know, but um, keeping an eye on NXT in the background, mm -hmm. that Thea has a Valentine's Day date for next week. And she is all a flutter and does not know how to handle it, apparently. Do you know who that person is who she's going on a date with? Uh, the Australian guy, is he mm. from Chase Riley? U? I don't know who it is. I don't Riley know Osborne, oh, the British guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <A> British. <laughs> Same yeah. difference. Tina, I, I, I didn't catch accent. you on camera. It was an accent. It was an accent. <laughs> Riley Osborne. That guy. He's that guy. <laughs> You're he's the one. very nondescript. I don't want to be mean or anything, but I'm just saying he's a very, he's kind of like, like if I'm playing 2K24 and it gives you like the starting template for the rest <laughs> right. of her, I'm like, that's Riley Osborne. There's a couple, there's a couple in that yeah. lineup where it's just like, yeah, this feels like in the, in the My Rise story. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, but in fairness, Riley Osborne is a pretty good wrestler as I saw. He had a little run on NXT UK and then uh, 
And then that didn't happen anymore. Then that didn't happen anymore. They 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 um uh, they, 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 they they shut it down, um like four or five years ago. <laughs> God, has it been that long? No, it hasn't. Okay. <laughs> and then they um. And then they uh, they they told everybody, yeah yeah yeah, we'll be back. We're gonna do NXT <laughs> Europe. <laughs> and then um, and then we waited a little while, and then um, didn't happen. No, nope. <laughs> no, just so. As screw, it was. screw you, Europe. <laughs> you getting NXT? Sorry. Okay. You maybe can get a pay per view <laughs> one day. <laughs> yeah, we'll come to France. Maybe that's one. Maybe that's one they're gonna announce it. We're like, we're oh, coming they got back. two coming up. They got two? Oh, yeah, they're doing Germany. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Tina, you think they're ever going to do NXT Europe? Mm, I don't know. Do well, the think- indie scene's getting back to where it kind of used to be um, in, in Europe, so I doubt it. So, sometimes I watch SmackDown, and I think, this is just NXT UK. <laughs> <laughs> DP, do you think NXT Europe is ever going to happen? No, but I think mainly because of a difference of management styles. Mm -hmm. Um, Unless Rock puts his foot in too far. Where Vince had the old style of we have to take everyone over and make everyone us. And I'm thinking Triple H is more on the we can work with these people. And not have to just completely envelop in our system. So I could see them working with a lot, working with people a lot more. Also, it saves them money. They don't have to set up the whole NXT Europe or NXT Japan that they were going to, you know, back in 2019. They can work with people already there, have talent exchange, and not have to build up an entire infrastructure for themselves there. Right. Yeah. Remember the big map that Triple mm-hmm. H had that one time? It didn't happen either. Just, uh, it'll uh, just <laughs> one day. Sorry. One day it'll come. <laughs> just like, I think Dwayne might have something to say. About that. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think any. Uh, I, I wouldn't be planning further than like being like three or four months ahead if I were Papa H. I just, yeah, just a hunch. Just thinking maybe that's not gonna happen. No. Um, <laughs> I say P- Papa H and um, Uncle Sean. <laughs> Papa H and Uncle Sean. Yeah. Might be uh might be trouble for everybody. Um, does anybody else have? Is there anything? I feel like we're forgetting something. Uh, Logan Paul is still in Space Jam. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. presented by Slim Jim. <laughs> presented by Slim Jim. Um, Team Hammerfist asked me if we could add that branding as a salute to Slim Jim for being the ones that freed us of the tyranny of Vince McMahon. Remember, uh, Slim Jims did that. Thank you, Slim Jim. Not 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 me. Not not a not not the not the federal government. No. Not personal responsibility. No, not 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 shame. No, <laughs> no, no. Slim Jims, Slim Jims saved this industry from Vince McMahon, and now all we have to do is save the rest of the world. God, the mm-hmm. the the power of this <laughs> this food item that is like maybe in Seven Eleven still. I don't it even is, know. It is. It is. Uh huh. I, I, power I plan, of the I, meat stick. Power I, I, of the meat stick. I, I want to go, and I'm, I'm just going to buy a few, and we're just going to bring them in, just, <laughs> just, just, just hang them in the background as a monument of our appreciation. They're going to build <laughs> so they, statues. <laughs> they're going to build statues of meat, of meat sticks, of dehydrated meat sticks <laughs> from sea to shining sea, as, 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 a, as, a, as a lasting reminder of the great thing that this food did for our great country. Thank you, Slim Jim. Thank you, thank Slim you, Jim. Randy Savage. <laughs> thank you, Randy Savage. Thank you, Slim Jims. Okay, Sorg, is that enough? Great. <laughs> All right. So I've been trying to update the WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. Hasn't been going real great, but I tell you what, I'll do in the meantime. I will. I will start posting the updated cards on the Facebook group. We'll do it like that for now, um, and that way um, it won't be so awkward uh, when the shot clock's running down on poor DP and Tina. Sorry, folks. Um, we do our best here, but uh, you know the important thing is that we're all having fun, right? That's the important thing. Uh, next week, Sorg, we're, we're solidly booked for next week's Mayhem Mania, aren't we? We got like four people coming in. Sorg? 
All right. Well, anyway. Did Marcus muted. Take him? Yes. I imagine our mayhem would. Uh, we've confirmed at least one of the teams will be in studio. I'm waiting for the confirmation on the second one. And that means, uh, the, the, well, we're Eames. just going to lock the door. We're going to lock the door and make sure uh, the, uh, they, they stay for Mayhem Mania. Yeah. Katie bar the door. That's right. That's what, yes. that, that's what the old saying means. Um, they were talking about Mayhem Mania. Um, keep up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything. I, I'm, I'm just kind of parsing whatever you just said. <laughs> just, you, you work on that. We'll reconvene next week. Uh, okay. WrestlingMayhemShow.com, maybe. Um, or follow the podcast. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon so you don't miss Patreon in the bank. Check out the Facebook group because uh, if nothing else, we'll post something if Vince gets in trouble again. Stay Mayhemmy! Rock a pop a wheelie on the street bike Yeah, this fucking dude is nuts and who we trust The dude who bust and move it up I've used the stuff to cruise and rush Booze and blunts fucked up What do you want? This my life And this my right to take advantage of the drugs I'm giving to escape into a greater state of living I'm just racing to the